Hello and welcome back to the Jason Gullen Show in the afternoon. Hijacking the RTE Airways. We're here with uh, Daniel Staines talking about Still Oregon College of Further Education. Daniel, you've gone to Still Oregon College of Further Education, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, no, I've been here for almost a year now. Uh, almost a year now. And uh, what what do you think of the place? Um, it's all right. Like it wasn't exactly what I expected, but huh? all in all, it's a you know mellow experience. Now you're in the uh, in the media department, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, now there's a few departments. Now there's there's the photography, the art foundation, and the media department. Uh, what do you think about the media department? Um, oh yeah, no, I think it, it it's got some moves. You know, it, it it's getting there. I think the the more equipment it gets, but I I don't know. I do worry about you know the standards. The standards. I think the standards of, of media in the last while have dropped the, substantially. I, I think that, you know people are just getting lazy in this country. Yeah, um, I think it's just the you know availability of these consumer you know yeah, digital the projects. Driven. Yeah. Don't get in the way of the shot. <laughs> and they, um, you know, they, they just make it so easy, you know, I, so I, easy. I, yeah, no, and then you have these punk kids coming in, you know, shooting, editing, cam, yeah. lighting. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just too easy these days. And I think the real artistry of the, of the business has gone out the window. And I think in a couple of years, we're just going to have, you know, this, this horrible uh, multi-network channel, you know, thousands of channels to choose from, yeah, oh, all absolutely. equally rubbish. Yes. And, you know, it's a disgrace. Sure, like, did you um, see that new MTV channel out that the, the, the people choose what they want to watch? Yeah, exactly. And the they want like, to make. When, do, when, like, people can't choose what they want to watch, we no. have to tell them what to watch. Yes. Yeah, that's how we control them. Uh, and it's and all crap anyway. Yeah, it's crap. We're, we're you know, we're living in a, a postmodernist nightmare. This is why we're hijacking the afternoon show yes, right now. Because it's, cause it's a horrible It's thing. a horrible show and it's a lot of shit, really. Yeah, it's all horrible. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. There's a, there's a two good TV shows on at the moment, and you know they're even not great. No, yeah. like you know the standards. The standards are just it's the same old stuff. And oh, yeah, rehash of the past. Yeah, nothing original. Absolutely. Where's the innovation? Exactly, exactly, yeah. and that's what the Lorgan College is up for: reinventing the film industry. <laughs> And uh, I see yourself here. This uh, is a new uh, leaflet out in the last couple of days, and uh, you're on it. Yeah. Yeah. No, this this is uh, your animation work, is it right here? Yeah, it? that's it's fantastic I'm work. I have to say. Chuffed about that, all right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's some good work. What do you think about the old animation? It, uh, is that the kind of way you think the media should go? Or yeah, well, I think it's interesting. I think it allows you to, uh, you know, to uh, tell stories in a in a, a cheaper fashion than live action, and it allows you to do a lot from your own bedroom. It's extremely time consuming. Oh, so, absolutely. But I mean, always a problem. But from your I own think, bedroom, and you just stylistically, you have a lot more choices on how you want your, yeah, yeah, your thing yeah. to look. Like. I mean, if you're doing this work from your own room, I mean, that's you, you can't really go wrong. Yeah, it's more you just. I don't want to spend as much, but it's more time consuming. Mm -hmm. That's I think everybody should at least have one go of using a camera in their lifetime and just making something. So they yeah. can say, yeah, look, I did that. Mm. That's my work. Uh, I think everyone should get the chance to do that. And not just the people in the film industry doing it every bloody day yeah, bringing no. it the same yeah. old crap. Because, you know, if we had just t 10 minutes of footage from uh, amateurs, it's just, it, it'd be unreal. Like, it's just... Crazy, crazy stuff. There's a lot, lot of options out there. Oh, absolutely, a lot of absolutely. There's just even the likes of YouTube. They, I mean, the amount of directors on there. There are some some better films on there than I've seen in the cinema in a while. A lot, a lot of rubbish too. There's a lot of rubbish, but you have to, you, you do have to filter through the rubbish. But there is yep. there is a bit of good stuff. Yep, there's you, some gems there. Or there is some undiscovered gems. There are undiscovered. The next Francis Ford Coppola. Absolutely, these, these absolutely. Kids. absolutely. These punk kids. Are. Punk kids in, in their in their baggy clothes. And their director hats, their berets, if you will. Horrible. And thinking they're all directors, going around doing this. Yeah. Thinking they're all. Framing, setting up the old shots. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay.